lightweight division bout. Well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And then as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. All right, so here he is representing the American Kickboxing Academy, the inimitable Khabib Nurmagomedov. And this guy makes his way to the Octagon DC. You run out of time setting up everything he's accomplished, but he always puts that status as an undefeated fighter and UFC champion on the line. He will do so again here tonight. The moment he walked in the AKA, you understood that there was something special about Nurmagomedov. He was a guy that was always listening, although he spoke no English. He was always listening and paying attention to try to learn and how to improve himself. And the moment he stepped foot in the gym, he was just open to each and every lesson, and now it's showing over the course of his UFC career. He was undefeated going into the UFC, and he has only built on that and become a champion, one of the most well-rounded fighters in all of the UFC. You know, your college wrestling teammates have told me when you showed up at Oklahoma State, you didn't speak English either. No, I didn't. It was all, <laughs> it was all Southern Creole accent. It was all, it was all, hey, my boy. <laughs> right. Well, your English is now very proper, and so is Khabib's, and he's back on the proven ground here tonight, again, trying to prove himself as one of the pound-for-pound -pound greatest fighters on this UFC roster. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Levin. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA assassin. And now it produces his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. So here we go, round one of this highly anticipated tilt between the strong striker and the decorated grappler. Any chance that these guys mix it up, or are you just expecting they're going to stick to what got them to the dance? I'm expecting a pretty straightforward approach for both of these fighters. The striker will try to lead with his punches and his kicks, and the grappler will try to time a takedown, time a clinch position so he can start to work towards a lot of those great judo throws that he possesses. Once on the ground, he is in his realm and will start to chase submission. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. And they separate. 
rejects that leg kick. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. All right, boy, Ty Clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this speed. Blocks the shot. 25 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Big kick land. Nurmagomedov gets hit with that stiff jab there. Oh, big knee there. Lands again. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Nurmagomedov gets the tie clinch here. All right, single collar tie now. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Hands high, hands high. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Oh, wow, massive uppercut. That will not feel good tomorrow. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Just over two minutes, round one. Nice punch lands over the top. can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. And they separate. Big punch from the clinch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big body kick land. Oh, how about it? Huge kick landed. There must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Let's go. Right All right, he engages in a single collar tie. There's no kill on that leg. That's a big strike right there. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You got to start checking these, You've man. You got to check these kicks, or you're going to be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Quick entry here. Nice single leg entry. Rotates ahead outside to a high block. Takedown, what a technique, what a takedown, great high impact skill. You could feel the canvas reverberating here at the bottom. I mean, it's right there, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it's like me running anywhere, John. <laughs> Attack it on that. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round, so the fighter was really caught the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So, back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're gonna fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so there's the end of the round. A lot of high-level action, and if you like the takedown game, as my boy Daniel Cormier does, you enjoyed that round. It's like we're watching the NCAA wrestling tournament. It's takedown after takedown. He's fighting his fight. He's able to change levels, drive into his opponent, it's secure takedown after takedown.
All right, nice job there by the corner after that previous round as our next round gets underway, and their fighter is undeterred. He was close on the submission in the previous round. He's going to get right back to it. He's like a dog on a bone. He'll continue to attack, 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 until he eventually gets what he wants. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Nermago Meta. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside legs. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Just out of range with the big right hand. Right hand puts him in the clinch. Oh, an obvious limp there is for certain. And they separate. Some nice back and forth action here. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, oh. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that two pieces of chicken and a biscuit, finish him off with the uppercut, that is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Beautiful time. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Big kick land. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. So a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any take down. Okay. Now there's danger in that too. When you start reaching out to catch that kick, here comes the high kick. And it's in here in a lot of trouble. Oh, collar tie. Unable to land with that punch. Oh, big elbow. Nice. Huge elbows! As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range, he'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Striking display by a muscle. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. He lands a big elbow there. Oh, massive knee to the head. And he that comes knee, through with a big knee. That knee hurt him. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Jeez Louise. Effective punch there by Nermago Meta. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Oh, he has left. Continues 
to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Hey, hey, stop! All right, now take a seat. Breathe, 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 breathe. Relax, you okay? All right, get some water. Let's recompose. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. You ready? You ready? Fight! Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Nice punch, man. Real quick leg kick. Movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. Now he's on top of him looking for the finish. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Nermago Medov. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him. Know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie reach back to side and try to find space. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And there comes the separation now. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Leg kick checked effectively there by Nermago Meta. Big head kick land. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Oh, and he lands another punch there. And you can tell at this point, he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finish. 137 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. And just 42% accuracy in terms of the land rate against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Let's get going now. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Oh, single collar tie here. Two minutes now to go in the round. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. And they both stand up. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Got the single collar tie. Right on the button. And they clinch once again. One takedown is easy to defend. When you start stringing them together is when guys struggle. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Come on, you gotta get out of there. He needs to push the arm to the sides. Get his head against the back. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. 
Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. 30 seconds to go. Close guard. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the block. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter that's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. All right, let's look back at some of the action in that round, DC. What a high-level display of offensive wrestling. I mean, this is a joy for me to watch. I enjoy watching a guy maintain this level of wrestling for as long as he has done this. He is constantly in his opponent's face. He's constantly taking him down. Getting taken down and getting up is exhausting. Let's see how tired his opponent is at the start of the next round. Kick to the body now. That one won't. That's as good a punch as he's thrown on him. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that land perfect, and that one landed perfectly. with that punch by Nermago Metal. Rips the body there. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see me. He thinks coming, and he's been blocked close to the strike. Yeah. Beautiful leg kick throw. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, big diving punch lands up top. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Marco Medov's pass attempt denied. So he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, close guard now. You got to be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Nermago Meta. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement completely. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Oh, the thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent in, tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Look at him drive his shin into the opponent's body with that body kick. Big punch lands through the middle. See him limping a little bit. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Unbelievable. He got him. What a performance. Well, it's not every day in the UFC 
see that you see a fight ended due to a leg kick, but that one was absolutely devastating. He took away that lead leg of his opponent, who became a one-legged fighter, and then it became just a matter of time. So somewhat anticlimactic here tonight, but not for the winner, as he gets one of the bigger TKO wins of his UFC career. So a big win for him here tonight and an even bigger statement made by virtue of the TKO. Here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian Levine is called to stop in this contest at three minutes, 27 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO Assassin. Well, there he is, the man of the hour. And you got to think this dude's going to get a serious Instagram push tonight after the win by TK. Oh, he's going to get a massive push because he hurt his opponent and he pressed his foot down in the gas until he got that finish. That was amazing.